Hello everyone from the internet, today I will be discussing with you one of the small herbivorous dinosaur that was mentioned in the Jurassic Park novel, but never made an appearance in any of the Jurassic Park movies. This dinosaur is known as a Hypsilophodon. Without making you guys wait furthermore, let's get right into it. Firstly, let's do a historical background check on the Hypsilophodon. The meaning of Hypsilophodon is high crested tooth in Latin. It was discovered in 1849 in England. It was described and named in 1870 by T. H. Huxley. Hypsilophodon lived during the early Cretaceous period. It was 2 meters in length, meaning 6.5 feet, and 2.3 meters in height, meaning 7.5 feet. When it was firstly discovered in 1849, it was thought to be a juvenile iguanodon. They likely had cheeks to facilitate in the chewing of food and had self-sharpening molars. These Cretaceous animals retained many primitive features such as a five-fingered hand and front teeth. Fossil nests show that Hypsilophodon made organized nests and the finding of large groups of Hypsipholodons suggests that they traveled in herds. In the book, it was described when Jerry Harding captures a Hypsipholodont, this information was given. In the harsh quartz lights, the Hypsipholodont's green head hung down out of this sling. The tongue dangling, the eyes dull. The Hypsi was a small dryosaur, 7 feet long, weighing about 500 pounds. In the Jurassic Park novel, the Hypsipholodon species were the first dinosaurs to be seen on the tour drive, with the main characters seeing them, such as Grant, Ian, Tim, Lex, Gennaro, Ed Regis, and Ellie. The paddock that the Hypsipholodon were seen in was in the Hypsipholodon Highlands paddock. The Hypsipholodons were also stuck in the paddock with other dinosaurs, such as the Othenelia. The Hypsipholodon were known for having a mating call that sounds like the honking of a geese. Furthermore, these animals were also described as not especially bright animals in the novel, its intelligence being roughly the intelligence of a domestic cow. These dinosaurs were seen scratching themselves a lot because they had a skin problem that the scientists and the vets in the park assumed it was either caused by a fungus or an allergy, however, nobody knew the true origin of the irritated skin. In the novel, after the park broke down and the animals were loose and rampaging in the park, Dr. Jerry Harding, that you may also know from Jurassic Park the Game, or from the movie, Jerry Harding was this person. Jerry Harding tranquilized the Hypsipholodon and placed it on a truck for transport. Harding measured this dinosaur temperature at 96.2 degrees Fahrenheit, claiming that it dropped by a degree and a half, meaning the normal body temperature of the Hypsipholodon was 97.7 degrees. This dinosaur was also described by Harding that it moved like a kangaroo when running, meaning it jumped to go from point A to point B. Being one of the dinosaurs that had amphibian DNA or frog DNA fragments, the Hypsipholodon were confirmed to have bred with an expected population of 33, an actual population of 34, and an equilibrium population of 14. They were expected to be version 2.9, but due to the breeding it was impossible for the computer to accurately assign a version number. This is going to be it for my video, if you have read the Jurassic Park novel book, please let me know down in the comments if you have enjoyed reading about the Hypsipholodon, or if you think this dinosaur was a useless addition in Jurassic Park, especially being the first dinosaur to be seen on the tour. Either way, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.